The number one reason to get a flip phone is not because it looks cool or because it can fold in half making it smaller. It's also not because they're more durable now or that they've gotten more affordable. I mean, these are still all great reasons to get a flip phone, but the number one reason is that now it's also a fully functional pocket-sized mini phone. With Razer 40 Ultra, Motorola has introduced the slimmest flip phone in the world with the largest covered display. And that is the number one reason. You wanna know why? Let's go. So, first of all, unlike any other flip phone, this is a nearly edge-to-edge -edge square shaped 3.6 inch POLED 144Hz display with 1100 nits of peak brightness and it's HDR10+. I mean, this goes on to tell you how good the display is, but it doesn't tell you what all you can do with it. I'll tell you that. And let me start with the basics. So this is the home screen, right? You get all your settings here, like all of them. And right here, you get all your notifications, simple. Next, you get these panels or pages, which has widgets. And all of these panels can be configured under settings inside the phone. Now, let's say you get a message. You could read it and reply to it all without opening your phone. Even if you want, you could quite literally open YouTube and watch a video on this external display with the progress seeker, the ability to go back and forwards, and even choose a quality of the video that you prefer. Calculator, check. Twitter, check. You could even just navigate like this on maps or make a phone call to someone through the dialer, or even just tap on their shortcut and you're done. Gmail, obviously. Can you reply to emails? Sure. In fact, whether it's WhatsApp or Instagram DMs, there's a fully functional keyboard that lets you input text. Now, sure, there are these camera cutouts that could obscure whatever you're doing, but then you have the choice. Uh, by long pressing here, you can have things above the cutout or go all the way edge to edge. And when it's not in use, you could just tap to activate the always on display, which again, you could configure and keep something that you relate with the most. And you know, Motorola really went all out. It actually gave this external display the toughest protection, which is the Gorilla Glass Victus. And it makes sense because after all, it is on the outside of the phone and it's possible that you sometimes keep your phone like this or like that and you don't want scratches developing too quickly. So, good stuff. Now, in addition to being functionally so superior, a cover screen of this size actually has a couple of more tricks. First, you could use it as a camcorder to record videos. You know, it's easier, it's more stable and you kind of get a kick out of doing that. Second, it acts as a preview. So when you're taking a picture, the people in the front can see exactly how they're looking. Third, you can use it for taking super high quality selfies because it's the rare cameras that are being used to do that. And fourth, you can just rest it on a table and be on a hands-free video call or even use it to record a vlog or any kind of video of yourself. I mean, it just kind of lends itself in so many ways and just that larger cover screen suddenly makes your phone so much more purposeful. And you know, as technology has evolved, the flip system or the hinge has gotten better too. The Razer 40 Ultra, for example, it uses a teardrop hinge system that allows it to close completely leaving it gapless. The crease is also much less prominent now. And it's also IP52 rated for dust and splash resistance. See, all in all, the larger cover display, it kind of gives you two phone experiences in one and it gives you the option to choose however you want to use it. But as I said, the larger covered display is just the number one reason to get this phone. There are plenty other reasons to get the Razer 40 Ultra. Let me take you through them. When it opens up, you get this massive 6.9 inch POLED display, which is super smooth and has great picture quality. It's 1400 nits bright, which is not the highest, but still very bright and more than sufficient for outdoor use. Now, phones that flip generally have a tall design and this has an aspect ratio of 22 is to 9. It does have letterboxing on the left and the right when watching videos, but just something to be aware of. You can just zoom in and fill the screen if you'd want to. And then it has Dolby Atmos support with stereo speakers, so you get the most optimized sound experience. Also, the phone obviously is a head turner. I mean, it looks great in the hand, in your pocket, or just even kept anywhere. I've got the infinite black color, which has this nice matte textured back panel, which is completely fingerprint resistant, by the way. There's also Viva Magenta in vegan leather finish and a glacier blue that you could go for. But the availability of these colors will vary by region. That cover screen though, uh, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but given it's a small size, you could just give it a quick swipe to keep it clean. And speaking of fingerprints, the power button here doubles as a fingerprint scanner for unlocking your phone and there's face unlock as well. Even performance wise, it may not have the top of the line flagship chip, but it's still got almost flagship performance with Snapdragon 8 plus one gen chip 
8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of fast UFS 3.1 as base storage. So it's going to be snappy for sure. Games like Call of Duty in multiplayer played really well. I could play with both graphic quality and frame rate set to high without any issues. No major heating or any kind of slowdown. I mean, it was super smooth and despite being an unusually wider aspect ratio, the game visuals adapt quite well. Now see, flip phones in general tend to have smaller battery capacities. I mean, it's got to flip in half and it's got an additional uh, cover screen that it's got to accommodate for. But even then, this has a 3800 milliampere hour battery, which is actually slightly larger than Samsung's 3700 milliampere hour battery in the Galaxy Flip 4. And what that means is that with mixed use, it's just about going to last you the entire day. Uh, with a lot of camera use, it actually might die off sooner. And you do get a 33 watt charger in the box that charges at 30 watts of peak speed. And lastly, let's talk about those cameras. Now, here are some shots taken using the primary camera of the 40 Ultra. I'll also leave a link below for you guys to download these samples. Now, the primary camera has an aperture of f1.5, which means it has a very shallow depth of field. And it comes equipped with OIS. And this optical image stabilization, when combined with auto night vision on the Razer 40 Ultra, produces some really epic low light and night shots, as you can see here. Selfies from the front facing camera, they're decent in the daytime, but does suffer from a bit of softness when it gets darker. But that's when you use the higher quality primary camera for taking selfies. The skin tone and texture captured is nicer. And even in low light, the larger sensor with the wider aperture, it does take brighter and more detailed selfies. I would just always use the primary camera on this phone for taking selfies. And in terms of video, so the Razer 40 Ultra can shoot 4K videos to up to 60 FPS and it also supports portrait video mode. Now I took a quick sample in broad daylight and I'm really impressed by the stabilization on this thing. Even in slightly dim situations, the video held up quite well. However, in very low light situations, the 4K video, it gets a bit shaky. But you could shift to night vision mode, which makes the footage much more stable and bright, though it only works in 1080p. And if you turn off night vision, you can see the difference. Again, it's back to being shaky. Look guys, the flip phones in 2023 are almost like a minor milestone and can possibly shape how we use external or secondary displays on our phones. Like today, they're merely adapting what we see on our main display, but tomorrow they can have their own dedicated function. As you know, we live in a more connected world with connected appliances and as technologies converge. And Motorola seem to have opened up that vision. Anyway, that's it guys about the Motorola Razr 40 Ultra. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments section. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark on. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.